and we're back in the yard so we got this mini splits two heads um both heads are calling for heat filters are clean but we're not getting anything happening i have two solid lights the red and yellow are solid and then my green light is solid but then shuts off and will blink 10 times and then repeat so according to this when red and yellow are solid that means it's normal operation but it doesn't tell me anything about that green light so we need to find the manual <laughs> Okay, so I went into diagnostic mode on the inside, so basically you hold the mode and the the volume or the what do you call it um, on the remote control. You hold down mode and the temperature up. Then you push the reset button with the paper clip for three seconds, release it, and uh, when all everything lights up, then you hit the power button. And then the indoor unit will start beeping and flashing. So I got three flashes on the inside with three beeps. Um, so that's two and a half uh, seconds in between. So that's telling me that it's got a serial error. So some kind of communication problem on the indoor units on both of them. So usually that just means that the wires are hooked up wrong. Uh, so basically like the line set's hooked up to to A and the wire for that one is hooked up to B and or it's reversed but this unit's been working fine for a while so I suspect that there might be another problem uh, so this one right here the CNDC uh, that's the from the power board and it's supposed to be about 296 volts DC uh, to 315 I believe okay so that's good so Luckily, this is just a two-head mini split, and it's pretty easy to see where they go, so we can just make sure everything lines up properly. And uh, refrigerant charge is cool. totally fine. I've been reading this service manual. But yeah, refrigerant charge looks like it's fine. It's 209, but it's uh, 38 degrees outside right now. It's snowing a little bit, and saturation is about 35, so it might be a little bit low, but not anything to cause it to lock out. So we got some kind of calm error. So we're gonna check that out. So we're back on this one, and uh, we pulled the control board out, and there's some physical damage on it, so we're gonna change the power board too. But uh, yeah, it looks like we were right. All right, we got both boards installed. Uh, so let's go ahead and I'm just gonna make sure I didn't miss any wires. Um, this one, this one, and that one's not used on this unit. Um, so I think I got all the wires. So, let's power it up, see how it happens. All right, nothing's sparking. It's going through its self-test. I can hear the EEVs doing their thing. So, we'll go ahead and uh, turn it in, or turn it on inside once uh, it's done with its self-test. I'm not getting any crazy blinking yet. So, we'll go from there. Okay. All right, so we got two solids. Let's go turn it on and see what happens. All right, so I got both heads on heat. It's blown coldish, so definitely a lot better than last time. So we should be good to go. So we're gonna go ahead and just watch it for a little bit and see if we need to make any mods, but I think we're good. Okay, so this one we actually had a serial uh, comm error. So generally what that's going to mean is if you're checking between 2 and 3, I believe it is, um, on DC voltage, it should basically be bouncing all over the place. Um, I didn't show it in the video, but uh, when I did test it, it was just like nothing. I just wasn't doing anything at all. Um, so that's usually a sign that there's no communication taking place uh, between the indoor and the outdoor unit. Um, when that happens, generally it could be a loose connection on the inside or the outside. It could be a broken wire, a uh, damaged wire of some sort. Um, but in this case, it looked like that it was actually a bad uh, uh, control board. Um, generally, when you're changing the control boards, it's always a good idea to change the power boards um, because I've seen where the power board fails and takes out the control board or vice versa. Um, so, but yeah, but anyway, once we got the, that board changed, 
uh, everything came to life. The lockout discontinued and I was getting no more error codes and uh, both heads were working totally normally. So um, also you want to see if there's any kind of condensate pump because sometimes that can cause some issues. But anyway, hopefully this helps you out. So uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, comment, tell me what a horrible technician I am. Hit that bell notification and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. And if you like the tools that I use, uh, be sure to uh, pick them up at my store. Uh, link in the, in the description below. Thanks for watching.